So I'll say I had to um, download um, you know, certain objects from uh, from Revit City. So say we want to download a garage door, go to that website, type in garage door, and um, let's scroll down. Um, no, 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 say we want to disk, click on download now, um, and then open. So it's an RFA file, open it, upgrade it to 2017. Um, so sometimes it does take a while for it to upgrade. Um, but in order for you to download it, make sure you've got an account with Revit City, right? Um, I'll be posting the link of the website as well to you guys. Um, so we get this sort of um, family um, we can play around with the with the dimensions let's however leave it as is and load it into our project so now we've got it loaded um, and let's say we want to place the door on this side so it's just basically you click um, on wherever wall you want to place your your garage door on um, you can also uh, edit the properties so let's you can play with the dimensions from our project to so say we wanted it to be 6,000 we can see now um, it, it became wider we have a look at it um, in 3d and you'll see how we've got that um, door embedded within the wall Um, yeah, and make sure that level is set correctly, so you can always change that from, um, well, uh, it was correct before, so start it at the very bottom level, the slap on grade level, but yeah, it's just that you can always change that from the properties panel. Um, do I want to show you uh, you can edit probably the height as well so uh, let's maybe increase it to 3000 you can see how um, the height has increased so this is basically it for this video